Hey guys, welcome back to Shop Life. Today's gonna be a quick DIY on how to replace your camshaft position sensor on an Infiniti G35. Uh, this is the 2004 G35 that we're working on. It is a customer's car. There's two sensors behind the intake manifold that usually go bad. There's one on the driver's side and there's one on the passenger side. Today we're gonna be replacing the one on the passenger side. This is bank one. A camshaft position sensor and it's going to be P0340 for your check engine light code. Uh, this one on the passenger side is a straight sensor. The ones on the driver's side have a little angle on the connector and the passenger side is a lot easier to replace. But both, both of the sensors are practically the same procedure to replace it. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so the sensor that we're going to be replacing today is the one with the green connector. Uh, this is on the passenger side again for P0340. So pretty much to release that connector, what you have to do, you have to press the top tab in towards the like the tip of the connector. So you push that in and then you pull the whole connector off. So once I get it off, I'll show you. So after you have that off, what you're going to do is there's a 10 millimeter bolt right there, right on top of the connector that you have to take off. And once you have that off, then you can just pull that sensor out. All right, so as you see on the sensor right here, this is the connector. I mean, as you see on the connector, you have to push this tab in. And once you push it in, it will release it from the connect, uh, from the actual sensor. So you just push that tab in. And you push all the way in until you hear it click. And while you're doing that, you can also use a flathead to pry that connector off. And once you do that, then you're gonna go ahead and remove that uh, sensor with a 10 millimeter socket or wrench. All right, so this is a spare motor that I have. So here is the passenger side of the motor on the back. So as you can see, you're gonna be coming from this angle right here. Uh, and here's the sensor that we're replacing. So you're gonna be taking off this 10 millimeter bolt right here. And the connector is gonna be right here. And this is the tab is gonna be on the bottom side of this sensor. So that tab to release the connectors on the bottom. So once you get that connector off, then you just take off this 10 millimeter bolt and then all you have to do, you just have to pull this out. What, could, what you could do is you could twist it around a little bit to help you pull it out, and it comes out. The only thing that's holding this uh, sensor in after you remove the bolt is this O-ring right here. So that's pretty much how you get this old sensor off, and the new one we're gonna put back the same way we took it off. All right, so now we're just gonna slide that connector right back on and make sure you push it in all the way. All right, so that's pretty much how you replace the camshaft position sensor on the passenger side. So that's bank one. If you were gonna do bank two, it's the same procedure, except you're gonna have to reach a little bit further over. Uh, it's gonna be underneath this throttle body. So you gotta get your hand from underneath here and just feel for it. You really won't be able to see it that much. Uh, the connector is the same style, just a different color. So you have to push that tab in and then pull off the connector. And this is the same bolt. Only difference with that sensor is the tip for the connector is gonna be angled. Uh, and then once you get off that 10 millimeter bolt, you just pull it out and replace that as well. So the main reason you would end up doing these replacements, you're gonna get a check engine light. So P0340 for passenger side, P0345 for the driver side. Uh, another reason, well I mean, you, once you get those check engine lights, well, you're, gonna be, uh, you're gonna be experiencing is your car's gonna be harder to start. You're, you might have the VDC, the slip, and the ch uh, check engine light on, of course. Uh, the car's gonna keep getting harder to crank, and you might even have some other weird symptoms as well. Like you might have some uh, shifting issues and stuff like that. Your car might just die while you're sitting in a traffic light or whatever, and it might prevent you from going over a certain speed as well. So pretty much replacing these sensors, that will solve that. What I would recommend is just get both of them replaced at the same time. That way you don't have to worry about the other one failing after that. After you do this first one. Uh, I mean, as you saw, it's the, to do them is not that hard. So either way, I mean, just get them replaced. They're gonna be about 40 to $50 each. Uh, if you get it from the dealer, it's gonna be about 100 or 70, 70 to $100. Uh, you can order them online. Even local auto parts stores will carry them in stock. So that's it for today, guys. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below. And thank you guys for watching.